So we've been telling you throughout the pandemic to use telehealth to talk to your doctor. And I know that some of your doctors are like, tele what? Just come into the office. Colorado is now making an urgent request for more doctors to volunteer to do telemedicine appointments. Here's Anusha Roy. It seems like a lot of people have been listening. If you would have asked me this three months ago, I would have told you that probably 80 to 90 percent of the patients that we see, we're seeing in a face-to-face -face environment, right, in a clinic in the usual setting. And pretty much within a couple of weeks, we flip that. At Kaiser, more patients are calling and video chatting with their doctors and nurses instead of showing up in person. I think it's a bit of a win-win. But still, the state has an urgent ask. They need more health care professionals to donate their time to provide free telehealth visits. The state is trying to do is make it as easy as possible. Jeff Bontrager with the Colorado Health Institute has been studying the state's policy. Getting to the point we're at now has not been easy. Not all doctors' offices had the tech to support telehealth telemedicine right away. And while many insurance companies cover telehealth, if you have to pay out of pocket, depends on what kind of insurance you have and what you called your doctor for. Meanwhile, Coloradans have been rapidly losing their jobs along with their insurance. So Bontrager said this might be the state's way of trying to catch people falling through the gaps while respecting those on the front lines when in general have been asking for volunteers. They're trying to get people who may be retired, like retired doctors, or uh, people who are um, whose licenses are inactive for some reason, maybe they're teaching as opposed to practicing, um, or again, out of state uh, clinicians. There's a mission mindset. There is a feeling of a higher calling that people are willing to go above and beyond and help in any way they can. So we asked the state, why are they making this ask? How many people are they looking for? And they said that they weren't going to be able to get back to us in time for our story today. They did, however, refer us back to their own website where it has the details on how to volunteer and as well as like some tips on insurance, Kyle. And one thing we do want to remind people is that for a lot of you, that if you do a telehealth call related to COVID-19, it's going to be absolutely free right now. And Nusha, in terms of getting doctors into this system, uh, the struggle is real, but the struggle is not new. No, it's absolutely not. And it's been really interesting because there is an issue that we brought up before on this show that not everybody has good enough internet to support telehealth. And over the last couple of weeks, the state has actually expanded to allow people to just to include a normal phone call. So now the question becomes, do these changes stick around? Is it permanent? Have we changed the way we're getting health care beyond this pandemic? Mm -hmm. All right, Anusha Roy, thank you.